try to thank God for the preacher and say God speak through him to me if you read Isaiah 29 you know some folks sometimes when a preacher preach they listen to every word and criticize every bad grammar or every mistake or every whatever and God says if you are just about every word God says I'll judge you if you think I'm joking of a church about don't look right now it's Isaiah 29 verse 20 and 21 a lot of folks love to do that and said listen to this tape listen to what he say look at this video you are doing satan's work do you know how tough it is to get out what god said and nobody has to speak what god said in bible time sometime when god finish poof the prophet fall to the ground he can't handle it are you there there as i'm sitting there and the preacher preaching the lord begin me to show me some things are you seeing that the world going down right now everything that's going down everything going down listen to me well nuclear arms is just on the brink Disease kill everybody. Anybody tell you they never scared their lion? Sorry to expose it. Brunde kishiba kata ha. Branda kata baka. Sakata. I remember going on the floor during the midst of the pandemic. Going on the floor and I said, God! Help us! I said, oh, big bishop, he's a poor. No, 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 no. I'm shuddering like you. I say, God, they pass. Things 
breaking down. But here is it. Anytime there's a major breakdown, <laughs> it's a sign of a ship. It's a sign of an ark. Because God is a good God. He's a God of equilibrium. If you break down here, it's coming up here. Anytime there is a place taken over by the beast, there's a place being taken over by God. You have to understand. You have to understand the equation. Anybody know a little algebra? Come on, 2x equal 10. Come on, somebody. So x equal what? Algebra, algebra. Five. So because the earth is breaking down, see the man of God there in the lobby on video, a famous statement he said, everything breaking down, everything breaking down. But when it's breaking down, don't be hopeless. Jeremiah 10, 2 said, don't be hopeless. Church people, don't be hopeless. Don't be moved by the breaking down. Because there is an ark. There is a refuge. There is a place. Say amen with me. Say amen with me. Say amen with me. And let me tell you, as the man of God was saying, when he went to Florida, it's about December, January 2021, January 2000, and December, somewhere there. And the Lord said, have a world revival, a, 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 a conference. And in the conference, God spoke. And God, the first thing God said to them, that, ha, ah, you, you were all to be here today. God said, it was your will. Sister Annette, Sister Vivian, yeah. were you there? Yeah. Am I talking the truth? Yeah. I saw you. So, so don't attack me no, God. Savine will take you on. Come on, somebody. We spoke in there. We said, we said, it was God's will for you to be here. Then the Holy Ghost rose up in the place and said, God reveal an S. The size of a man. If you hear anything like that, that's crazy. The size of a man submerged in water. Then God said, the S means southern USA will be submerged with a flood. But watch me now. In the conference, we're not just folks from New York and from Georgia and from other countries. Are you listening to me? But there were folks in the audience that where they live is the place that got most hit right now. From Fort Myers to Sarasota in Northwest Florida. That was where got most hit. That's where the people died. But there were folks in the audience. You want me to call one name? All right. I love proof. One name starts with L. You have to talk to the people in, in Florida. And they will tell you. One name starts with L. They were in the audience. A nice lady, nice beautiful lady was in there. Her name starts with L. She lived in Sarasota. In the heart. Now watch this now. God made the prophecy. Watch me now. God made the prophecy. The water coming, flood coming. Then God said in the revelation, but the ark is here on time. Oh, so the ark is here on time. Then we told him what the ark is. Is the world revival city? It's all. It's all in the little conference. Then a year and months pass. And they all take it normal. Then the ark is bought. The ark is purchased. And within a day or two. After the ark. Watch me now. Is purchased. 
ruin the worst the worst flood in 500 years said the governor struck you hear the thing like that so exact as the ark is born as it's paid for they do everything to stop my god the ark from being bought but as the ark is bought came the rain Oh, Baba, listen to me good because it's five hours I have in my belly. So listen to me good, try and do five minutes. The ark is bought. What is now? The people from, the, from where the, the water hit most were there. Were there. Listen to me good now. During the rain, we were in touch with them. Yeah, we were in touch with them. We, we left none out. We call them one one. Listen to me. That's the era most people died. From Fort Myers to Sarasota, Northwest. But here's the point. Listen to me well. Holy Ghost, I'm going to explain. God had an ark in the midst of a flood. God don't leave people like that. There's always an ark. No harvest army member died. No harvest army friend died. No harvest army member got injured. Someone. Sit down, sit down. I don't let me preach five, five hours. There are Britain who came from Brooklyn, living in Fort Myers. The place hardest hit is a place called Fort Myers, where the very from the very fire station was submerged in water. We are graduated from Brooklyn. My God, who have relocated and the flood can't handle them. You're not talking to me, you're not talking to me. I said we were in touch with every one of them by name. My protocota, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. Here, what you don't get, which I want you to get. You see, the ark is not a flood ark, it's not a water ark, it's a revival ark, it's a Holy Ghost ark, it's an end time ark, it's a heavenly ark. Watch me, what? Listen, me get because God said, I will not destroy the earth by flood. So, what he have in ark for? You're not working with me, somebody. You're not working with me, somebody. What he have? Listen, don't no fret a flood. My God have mercy. Now, Bishop, messing it up. Don't fret a flood. God said he will not destroy the earth by flood anymore. So, when ark building, come on, somebody. It's not first physical. It might have some physical aspects to it, but it is first spiritual. God is trying to teach the earth. God is trying to teach the church that I have a place of refuge. My God, my God, my God, my God. It's a church. No matter how it break down around you, no matter what going down, God said don't go down with it. Brakasha, don't go down with it because I have an arm. Stand up here, stand up on here and preach. I said, Don't be afraid of water. Don't be afraid of flowing of water. It's not about water. The water is only a sign, the water is only a symbol. The water is only a symbol of calamity and trouble. Next time it's gonna be fire. Oh rakata ba 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 ba. Next time it's gonna be pestilence. Take water off your mind. The ark is a place of refuge. That's what it's there for. That's what God made the world revival city for. He's giving a little symbol. 
Come on, same as oh God came down to earth and, and became man. Holy Ghost, help me here. Rakata. God has a way to show us earthly symbols. To say, listen, I'm watching over you. I'm watching your back. I got my guardian angels around you. I'm, somebody, you will never go down. Do you go to the water? Somebody help me. You shall not be covered. Somebody help me here. Do you go to the fire? the man of God preach he's telling you when God resurrected the world revival city he's not even about the mortar and the place it's a spiritual thing it's a spiritual thing God said don't be cornered in not going down watch me now watch me now Holy Ghost let me stay for those five minutes the people in the northwest were told to evacuate. Many were told to evacuate. Even in the most dangerous places, they said they're not going to evacuate. Oh, you're like, I'm not trying to beat upon them. I'm just trying to show you something. There's a part of us that if we are not careful, we don't evacuate. We stay and die. Oh, rakataba, rakataba. I got to watch over. I got to make sure everything is all right. I can't let Satan take over the city. I got to hang around to help the city. You know, well. 12 foot to 20 foot surge coming. Every time these things come into America, God revealed it first. Anybody remember Sandy? Come on, somebody. Did you know that in February a revelation came to the church down there to stack up, stack up food? Right. Come on, somebody, it's online. Did you know that just one week before the storm came, before meteorologists just say anything, a little lady went in the pulpit and said, God said, store up, store up, store up, store up, store up, store up. That's how God take care of us. Is the ark, is the provision, is the refuge. Hallelujah. But listen, the same way they did not take the instruction or the encouragement to evacuate is the same thing will happen in a city that should be evacuated. Are you there? Listen to me. In a city that should be evacuated. Should be coming. It's water the last time. But I see a revelation of the streets up to here, not with snow, not with water, but with soot, soot, the height of snow. And somebody who know the voice of God is saying, evacuate. Let me give you some more proof. Anything with God, he gives proof. You see, the city is a sign from God. You think it's just a, come on, it's a sign. Oh, you look at people could buy that place. That alone is a sign. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to talk everything that they were saying down there. Come on, somebody here. I said, the city is a sign. Check on it. What are you doing? Huh? Come on, 21 months down there. You forget anything? 21 months down there. And you want to underrate what God elevated. 20. I'm not talking to you because you know better than that. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. 21 months. And you were able to purchase the city. My God, how did that happen? You want more proof? The deputy mayor show up Saturday gone. If you're not impressed, you're not impressed. <laughs> did I listen? I said the deputy mayor show up. 
and when the mayor show up the mayor said this is one of the most important church in the city And when the mayor was finished, she said, I'm going to donate in kind. And they already received the donation. I said, this city is a sign. The ark is a sign. all over the city New York upstate all over even today I was in some places where we were looking everywhere and when God said Florida look George everywhere when God said Florida we began to look we began to look for the biggest places a place 221 acre a golf club I already signed the contract Pay down on it because I love big place. My God, and God visit me, throw me in the emergency room for me to understand what he's talking about. Then he do something else. I'm not going to tell you that one. <laughs> and I get the message. I'm not looking for big land. I'm looking for a sanctuary because a sanctuary is connected to the word sanctity, sanctification. Oh my God, have mercy. My God, have mercy. Somebody take the mic from me. Cause I got five hours in my belly. <laughs> ah! So when God said, leave the big land, I called some of the officers. I have no, I have no time to go to church. I had to call them to my, to my house. I called to my house. I said, I'm in trouble. I'm just coming from the emergency room. And God said, you want big land, but I want a sanctuary. I said, help me out. Could you go all over Florida again and look again and see if I find a sanctuary? And they look all evening and find nothing. In the night, in the night, I'm on my altar. So disappointed. Say, why God? And I heard the word Normandy. I heard the word Normandy. So I say, what is Normandy? One of it's a town or a village. So I went on the computer. I'm as skillful as you guys. So I went looking for her. And I see a place called Normandy Island down in Miami. I say, what all this? <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> so I'm more disappointed now. By now it's about 1 a.m. So I'm about to go to bed. Then I heard my wife dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I heard my wife dreaming and my wife said boulevard you know what you know what you could, you could explain before because you know where it is <laughs> what's it now what's it what's your god three times in her dream she said boulevard 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 i said what is this but but but, but i can't wake her up to dream I can't have to leave her alone so in the morning about six I said I, I heard no Monday then I heard you say Boulevard and I left it wow. 20 minutes later my wife said there's a place for sale on no Monday Boulevard <laughs> I said, there's a church. So I said, I know you never lie, but I'm not sure about this one. You never lie, but that, but that can't be true what you just said. I said, I know you never lie, but that can't be true. You can't see a place called Normandy Boulevard. <laughs> and a church selling, no, that can't be true. I said, honey, come and look at it. And that morning, remember, it's just hours ago I could not find a place. That morning, we called California oh and got somebody that now on Saturday. That's impossible. You can't get no real estate on Saturday. 
and we got somebody and they connect to, to Florida and say listen there's a place on, on Normandy Boulevard and by the time the person contact my wife the person trying to, to convince my wife there's no place like that for sale so real say there's no place and they live there there's no place like that for sale this is a real estate God blind them God caused them to be blinded come on you know come on somebody I told you I got five hours in my belly here God caused them to be blinded listen no man they believe on one of the most popular street in Deltona and though rain was falling all day by midday was in the tourist Today, that's the world. Revival City. Stand up and give God praise. I said the city is a sign It's not just about land It's not just about an ark It's a sign To evacuate To save it Watch me New York Let me show how God hand upon you God move upon you and God said there is a, a, a hurricane coming in 2012 ah, we were in Jamaica and God gave the revelation that it is coming and, and, and it came and shake New York millions of houses destroyed and God and, uh, come on somebody and the leaders asked God is there a place of refuge and God said, Georgia. God said, Georgia. And by 2013, you send off a team to Georgia. And now Georgia have the hub. This you call the center, epicenter. Georgia call the mountain. Oh, we don't have time, world. Maka shaka ba ba ba. Maka You see what happened? You are preparing somewhere else. You're always preparing somewhere else. You're always preparing a refuge. Something in you, New York. Something in you, Rakata Baba, can sense something that right. She Baba Baba Baba, something. She Rakata Baba, something. My God, in your spiritual powers, we tell you something not right. And that's why you have the mountain. The hub in Georgia. Now we got the city. Come mountain is just one mountain. Are you getting the message? Right there in Florida. Most of those who died died of drowning. Even though it was a hurricane. At the flood. The flood was the main thing. But the flood that's coming is a flood of evil. Is a flood of the beast. Is a flood of communism, Marxism, the beast, the Antichrist, the One World Order, the New World Order. Is a flood to control you. No, it is covered that a woman discover a way to give herself a chip, a chip. You're shaking up the world right now. So the flood is not a water flood. It's an evil flood. It's coming upon the earth. Evacuate. Evacuate. Draw to the altar those who wish to. I said there's something in your bowels. There's something supernatural in your bowels. 
that cause you to be sitting upon a hook, cause you to be sitting upon a mountain, cause you to be sitting upon a city. Everybody, draw to the heart. Draw to the heart. Don't underrate what God anything. Don't underrate what God. Now, folks, you understand what going on. Get us into their, into their thing. Get us into their corner. Get us into their thrill. Get us into their limit, limited understanding. Get us, nobody can move them. <laughs> you know, some children, you know, on the laptop all day won't eat nothing. Go on, somebody. Get us into their thing. A lot of folks, they've gotten so full of ourselves. We're just into our thing. We're not open to hear God. But something within is calling for refuge. Something within is calling. There's something that calls you to be stretching your arms to Georgia. There's something that calls you to be stretching your arms to Florida and to other places. There's something, something within you is coming out of you. Have, nearly everybody in Georgia came out to you. Nearly everybody in Florida came out of you. Pennsylvania, many across came out. There's something in you that looking, looking for safety, looking for the ark. Don't listen to nobody who try to underrate what God elevate. Many didn't listen. Many didn't listen. They did not listen. They went into one house and the water was over the roof. And one of the rescuers swam to the house. And all they were inside were dead bodies. There came a time when they saw that they needed to move. But it was too late. Just too late. Most time when they speak word like this, they just still into their thrill. They just still into the thing that motivate. And don't listen. Can well pray. Pray. Say God minister unto us. This that has just happened in Florida is a sign to the world. The sign. See that it's a word. That's why the whole world talking about it. It's a word. God said, I'm going to evacuate you from this world. But while you're here, I'll cause evacuations for you to survive. He says in Hosea 12 and verse 13, by a prophet I took you out of Egypt and by a prophet I preserve you. He says in Ezra 6 verse 14, he said by a prophet you build the city. By Haggai and Zechariah, you will build the city. The Bible said, God said, I will cause the heavens to shake. In Haggai, the last time, I'll cause the sea to shake. I will cause the land to shake. I will cause the events. Then the desire of the people shall come. They'll come. Come on, you that labor on a heavy laden, and I will give you. Minister, minister, minister beyond the norm. I break up every personal thrill in the name of Jesus that blind the eyes, that drunk the mind. I break it up in the name of Jesus. For it's written in Proverbs 22 3. A prudent man foresees and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. I break up that simple stronghold in the name of Jesus. 
rock it. I break up that normal she strong wall. In the name of Jesus, I break up the tradition stronghold. In the name of Jesus, I break up the custom stronghold. In the name of Jesus, I break up the decision to die unnecessarily. In the name of Jesus, and I release the light. I release the spirit of the ark. I release the, the revelation of the ark. I release the vision of the ark. I release the prophecy of the ark. I release the prophecy of the ark upon the body of Christ. Get into the ark, my friend. Step into the ark, my brother. Step into the ark, my sister. Step into the ark. Drop your thrills. Step into the ark. My brother, catch it. God bless you all this tomorrow night. this word today. 